Hello, my name is Alberto and I'm going to speak about factors influencing organizational structure in projects. First of all, I'm going to speak about the factors that determine and influence the organizational structure. For example, culture, project communication, cross-cultural management, complexity, conflict, and finally, conclusion, recommendation, and reference. So, the concept of organization is the management structure that can be applied within the project and the organizational environment. According to Gardner, a project's organization structure can be understood as a structure which defines the process, the reporting structures, and system within the project. Alright, once understood the concept of organization, Mintzberg stated that organization can be classified depending on the three basic dimensions. The basic part of the organization, the dimension of the coordinating mechanism, and the type of decentralization. And finally, Mintzberg presented his five organizational structures. Right, one way to define how stakeholders relate to each other is through the project structure. There is no perfect structure. Each model has good advantages and downsides, and factors set aside environment, time, or location affect the type of structure. The organizational structure allows to establish aspects such as the location of power, the authority of the organization, and the responsibility. According to Coster, 2010, there are four main project organizational structures. The first one is the functional or classical structure. It is a top-down hierarchy structure that groups people by discipline and level of authority. Although the functional structure is not suitable for fast-changing environment, this structure can be used in projects dominated by a certain function, for example, marketing campaign. The second one is the project ties organization. This structure revolves around a program, product or project and employees who work for a specific task work independently from the rest of the organization. In this structure, the project manager tends to have full autonomy. However, there is a lack of communication among teams, and as a consequence, a lack of creativity and new ideas. This structure is common in engineering projects. The matrix structure. It is the result of the combination of a functional and project as a structure. Several international projects follow this structure due to the high complexity. The common disadvantages of this model is the confusion in the communication channels and the positive overlap of responsibilities between the project manager and functional managers. Then, virtual structures. This structure is suitable for projects with a changing in global organizational environment. In a way, limitations as to time or distance are overcome in IT projects usually use this type of structure. The structure has got several benefits such as cost, saving and connection among global workers. For example, Kerner emphasized aspects that influence the structure such as site and time, the strategy, need for integration and innovation, complexity, limitation of budgets, resources and time and project location. What is culture? According to Shuring Cross, culture is a set of beliefs, mental programs, and personal abilities acquired by people at early ages as part of society. Predigate et al. 2010 stress on the Hofstede's cultural dimensions in order to study the impact of culture, and some of the most important are power distance, this dimension affects the organizational structure because it is the way power is distributed. The dimension of individualism and collectivism implies the independence of the workers which can affect the organizational structure in terms of conflict and decision making. For example, people who come from an individualistic culture tend to prefer projectized structures and individuals from group-oriented cultures prefer functional structures. Finally, another important aspect is the acceptance of uncertainty. If the uncertainty and avoidance is high, implies an organizational structure with absolute truth, roles well defined, and many rules. For instance, people with a low uncertainty culture prefer matrix organization. Communication is considered as a channel in which information is transformed 
from a receiver to an emitter. Additionally, Dinsmore defined the concept of communication management as the process using the creation, distribution, and final disposal of information in an appropriate manner. For example, James studied the, communica the communication breakdown in virtual teams and stressed that aspects such as trust, leadership, and relations play an essential role in the teams. In virtual structures, the model of the team may suffer because the employees feel abandoned and the responsibility to avoid. This situation depends on the leadership of the project manager. In this type of organizational structure, the use of electronic media and face-to-face -face communication can link the geographically spread out members of the team and enhance their communication. The management of multicultural teams is considered an important aspect within the management of human resources. Ogden and Price has stated the importance of clear definition of roles and responsibilities in order to achieve and effective communication. For example, James stressed that some of the typical factors that appear in cross-cultural communication is any, in any type of structure are misunderstanding and different in high and low context. Another aspect which affect the organizational structure in project are the teams and organizational complexity. According to Baccarini, an adequate understanding of the complexity in terms of how it could be managed is important. Hence, for example, some of the advantages of managing the complexity are help identify the objective, choose the more suitable project organizational form, and affect the objective of the project in terms of time, quality, and cost, which can be studied in the Iron Triangle. The idea of chaos, uncertainty, and complexity in projects was described by Thomas Mendel. They recommended the project manager emphasis on educational models supporting continuous change, cross-cultural and virtual communication, deal with uncertainty and go for high-performance teams. Additionally, Bakarini emphasized in the functions of a project organizational structure, which includes aspects such as the segment of roles and responsibilities and authority in decision-making. The last factor is conflict. The conflict can be understood as the situation in which a part feels threatened or not considered the interest and benefits by the other party. The conflict may come from pool-oriented problems, administrative or interpersonal like personality difference, ethic, etc. We need to think that diversity of perspective can enrich the discussion if handled properly and have positive consequences that add value. According to Mohammed, it is clear that conflict management is influenced by cultural trade, and as a consequence, it is necessary that project managers consider the cultural attribute of their teams in the ways of managing conflict. For example, be impartial, control the conflict, and come up with solutions. Conflict management is presented in project life cycles, and it can be minimized if the project manager anticipates potential conflict and understands their reasons. As mentioned above, lack of trust may generate conflict. According to Catterford, the trust is a complex and ambiguous concept, a psychological state which implies a disagreement by both parties is not a behavior. For example, in virtual structures, trust plays an fundamental role because in a working remotely environment it is difficult to establish social bonds. Cadefor also mentioned how trust affects in construction project and project as a structure in general. For example, clients often feel vulnerable in relation to contractors and traditional arrangements are accepted at at least risk instead of collaborative alternative. Confidence can be influenced by emotions in a stereotype and it is necessary to avoid system and process that do not enhance trust. Hence, in order to mitigate this problem, Bobek and Wolfson recommended integrating work practices, the creation of a work culture, open communication and clear expectations of responsibilities in the early stage of the project. Okay, what is the conclusion? This presentation has a seminar the factor that determine and influence the organizational structure in projects. The main factor are site, time, location and culture, and secondly, other aspects such as complexity, environment, communication, 
and conflict influence differentiation of the structure as well. It is recommended to analyze the types of factors that affect the organization of the structure to choose the most beneficial for the project in terms of need of the project. Also, it is important to define clearly roles and responsibilities in the earliest stages of the project and enhance the communication throughout all the stages of the project. Thank you very much for your attention and here you can see the reference. Thank you.